Welcome back, Swarmers! So great you can join us for another Waggle Dance from the Hive. Today we're going to look at the ocean and why it is so important to sustaining human life. Off the top of my noggin, half of the oxygen we breathe comes from plankton in our oceans. 15% of our global diet is from seafood, and the ocean helps to regulate our climate through carbon sequestration. So what is carbon sequestration? The natural or artificial process by which carbon dioxide is removed from the atmosphere and held in solid or liquid form. We previously examined the carbon sequestration provided by our forests, which absorb a third of our anthropogenic emissions. Forests are the most efficient natural carbon sequesters on our planet. Not to be outdone, our ocean is the largest carbon sequester, an important factor by absorbing almost 30% of our anthropogenic emissions. A portion of atmospheric CO2 is captured by the ocean naturally through physical and chemical processes on the surface before being pulled to the depths and making our ocean a huge carbon sink. At these depths, the CO2 is absorbed by microscopic marine algae called phytoplankton before they transform it into oxygen through photosynthesis. Importantly, as we mentioned earlier, phytoplankton create about 50% of our Earth's oxygen. The resulting carbon is emitted as droppings and slowly sink to the bottom of the ocean. The carbon not consumed by marine life, around 10%, is buried in the sediment on the ocean floor, beginning the transformative process back into hydrocarbons. Other planktonic organisms consume the remaining 90% of carbon droppings. Since the Industrial Revolution, we know there has been a rise of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere from 280 parts per million to over 400 parts per million. Similarly, the level in our ocean has increased from 280 parts per million to over 390 parts per million today. For a comparison, take a look at the carbon dioxide levels over the last 800,000 years, and we can see this rise is unprecedented. This massive increase in carbon has in turn made the ocean waters drop their pH levels. So, what does a drop in pH mean for the oceans? Since the start of the Industrial Revolution, the pH on the ocean surface has lowered from 8.21 to 8.1. This is called ocean acidification. This drop of 0.1 in pH doesn't sound like a lot, except that the pH scale is logarithmic, resulting in around a 30% increase in acidity. Marine biologists have been studying the effects of ocean acidification on marine life. Juvenile sea creatures have trouble adapting and their growth is stunted. Urchins require calcium carbonate dissolved in the seawater to grow their hard shells, but struggle in the new environment as increased acidic levels actually dissolve the calcium carbonate structures. There has been a decrease in larval oyster populations. The ocean's changing chemistry is dissolving our coral reefs and may lead to their extinction within 50 years. Our coral reefs are home to a significant number of marine creatures. If the destruction continues, it has the potential to affect the entire marine food chain. One fifth of our global population relies on seafood for their protein. Scientists understand that unless we curb our CO2 emissions, both the level of carbon and acidity of our oceans will continue to significantly rise. There have been many marine parks and protected areas set up for conservation, and more regulatory fishing practices instigated to boost the resiliency of our oceans and diverse marine life. But the best way to stop ocean acidification is to reduce the amount of carbon in our atmosphere. As with the carbon sequestration of our forests and landmass, more research is required to better understand the sequestration of our oceans, but current data provides us with enough information to understand that a rise in the global CO2 levels has adverse effects on our ocean. Please remember how vital the ocean is to our survival, how vulnerable it is to climate change, and challenge yourself to help protect it for future generations by living the most sustainable lifestyle that you can. Thanks for tuning in! We soon hope you can enjoy everything that our wonderful oceans can offer us. Got a comment? Stuff it in a bottle and cast away below. And don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you next time. Oh,